All right, so I say we do, of course, every fish counts as one. Since this is a hard bass lake, what if we did like two points for a largemouth, smallmouth bass, and then everything else is just one? For keep us from winning with like perch or something. So no perch? I haven't caught perch out of here in a long time. I mean, you might with your worm, but no bluegill? I would say only keeper fish. Only keepers, okay. All right, there's the rules. Only keepers and largemouth, smallmouth bass count as two since they're hard to catch here. Yep. So today we're doing a kayak versus bass boat challenge. Unfortunately, I am down. Justin beat me in the last fishing challenge we had on the kayak, so uh, I need to win this one. But uh, I do have a huge advantage being on a bass boat. I don't have to pedal or, like Justin's doing right now, pedal his feet to move. I can just easily touch this button here and I'm moving. So that is a pretty big advantage. One more thing, I am not using any fish finders today. There's not one there, not one up here, so there's no advantage there. I'm just gonna be pounding the banks and hopefully we see a bunch of boiling sand bass and we get to attack them. But you ready to start this? Yeah, All right. Go. Anywhere you want, man. I do wanna hammer this bank. Well, since we're here, we'll start here. Okay. And then we we'll just go wherever. We'll, we'll chase them, see what happens. All right, I'm gonna start with a jerk bait. All right, kayak versus bass boat. Here we go. All right, it is about one hour later of fishing and no fish, no bites. We did see some sand bass boil, but it is hot, guys. We're hoping these clouds come in and kind of cover us and make these uh, fish more active, but we headed down that way and uh, no bites, but I'm now towing Justin back. So we're gonna come over here and check out this side again and uh, see if we can do anything, see if we can find some fish, catch some fish. But yeah, just letting you guys know, one hour in and no fish. <sighs> Justin's on, oh, dang it. That's on that, on the bottom bouncer and the worm. What? Oh, 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 it doesn't count, it's a bluegill. <laughs> Bro, let me keep that. All right. <laughs> yes, it does not count. Hey, but you know what? Hey, first fish. Whatever, yeah, there's a skunk off the boat. That is a giant. That's a, that's a good size. You have to give me that worm. You can just toss it in. <laughs> that's a cool color on it. Thank yeah, dude. Pretty good size. Yep. All right, Justin's first fish. Unfortunately for the competition, though, he said that bluegills do not count. I did say it. Unfortunately, it is the only fish we caught today, but we'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy in the live well. I'm just happy it doesn't count. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, with hey, I'm gonna make a run over to Sexy Cove real quick. I'll see if anything's in there. I'll, I'll be right back. Bro, I did see the biggest bass in my entire life jump right on this point though. Are you serious? I swear, like at least 10 pounds. Holy crap. All right, you ready for this? Please be small, please be small, please be joking. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Got that on a cast, man. Is that a blue, a bluegill? <laughs> That's freaking cool. So you haven't caught nothing else? <laughs> Thank God. The whole, time I, <laughs> the whole time I was pulling up to him, he had his hand in the water like he's holding a big fish. And it was a, a little too much bluegill. You saw a bass jump right here? All right, guys, we'll change plans. The fishing here was absolutely trash. We did not catch anything. Justin did catch one bluegill, though. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to load up the boat, load up the kayak, and shoot across over the dam to the other side. And actually, Justin has some worms here. So I actually want to use these worms and see if we can catch some more bluegill over on the dock. And then I actually want to cook up these bluegill, do a little catch and cook with the bluegill that we catch. So. Yeah guys, that is a new plan since fishing here sucked and we didn't really get to do a 1v1 challenge. They're hitting it. So they're actually hitting it? Yeah, but... Good deal. Like, I mean, you can see all of them. Oh god, there's a tiny. Well, there's some bigger ones. See them, like, down over there? Oh yeah, I see them. Okay, good deal. We need the big ones. If you catch anything, you can throw them in the ice chest. There's, that big one's already in there. Okay. There's one. What? Little guy. How you have that's a that's a carp. Look, that's the baby carp I was talking about. <laughs> wow! You just nick at it. Come on, take it. There it is. Bigger one. 
That might be eater size. I mean, it's tiny, but we'll try it. I mean, we're cooking the whole thing anyway, so. Do you have a weight on yours? Yeah, I just put a little. You just did? It. Okay. Oh, that just broke my freaking hook. Are you kidding me? These hooks have been in my box for a while. Never get to use real tiny hooks. Keeping the these bluegill on ice. Yeah, I cut the heads off, take the guts out, and then cooking it just like that. People say it's really good. Right. We're gonna fry it up in some batter. Do you descale it? Yeah, yeah, descale them. Cook them up in batter. And then you can just pull pull the ribs right out and eat it. Got it? Nice. Heck yeah. Hey, little guy, but that'd be a nice little chip. <laughs> Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah, I see bluegill. Let's cook it up. So we got five. Five little bluegill that we caught here. I'm going to go ahead and clean these up. And then we will throw them in the hot oil. See how they taste. Alright, so before I cut up these bluegill or cook them up, I'm going to go ahead and throw the head of this bluegill on a catfish pole. See if we can catch a cat while we eat some fish. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Alright. I don't blame you, dude. You can do a backflip? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Still got it. Still got it. We used to flip on these docks back in the day. Hot. Is it hot? <laughs> yeah. You got your sunglasses? I, my glasses on. <laughs> I know I saw them as you jumped, I was gonna say. <laughs> I bet that feels so freaking good. Oh, it feels great. I'm gonna cook and do the same. Oh. You should throw a big old piece of worm out there. See what happens on that pole. All right, I got the fish gutted, scaled, and cleaned out. Now it's time to cook. Fair enough. I, was... uh, I think lately it... I seem to be only catching bluegill. <laughs> I think it'll be good, man. Everyone says it's good, so we'll see. All right, so here is our bluegill. As I said, it is all cleaned out, gutted, and descaled, and uh, I'm excited. We're going to be battering up this entire fish just like this. And then once it's cooked, we'll be able to pull the bones out and eat it just like that. I'm stoked, man. Like I said, I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. I just never set a day to uh, target bluegill. Justin caught this big bluegill today earlier. I was like, you know what? Today is the day we're doing it. We couldn't catch anything else, so today we're doing a catch and cook. I also, this is my very first time doing a catch and cook on a dock. I've been wanting to do a catch and cook on a dock as well for the longest time, but I never have an empty dock like this. So we're knocking out two things in one day. Pretty cool. I just wish we could catch some catfish. But these guys, they never bite during the day here. Oh, you got one? Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Was, it looked like it did for a second. Thank Might you. have just been the one. The worm did the trick, huh? Yep. What we got? Oh, it's a turtle. <laughs> oh, freaking turtles, a man. Big ass turtle. <laughs> Dang it. A big old snapper. He swallowed the shit out of it, too. Big old turtle. Not what we want. Nope. I went to the store and got some old chicken. What did we get? We got some crispy chicken fry. The spicy recipe, the bag I always get. My favorite. So we're going to pour this into a bag and do another wet batter with this bluegill. I got a cup full of drinking water right here. I'm gonna steal this cup. I don't know whose it is, but I'm stealing it. Because it has a twist on the lid and the water can't spill out. Just gonna dip a fish in. We'll do Justin's big one first. First bluegill going in. Oh yeah, a little cold. We'll heat, turn that up a little bit. She's boiling. Yeah. Any kind of like plate or anything to put on the <laughs> cutting board? Nope. You got your cutting board. Yeah, we'll be alright. Dang it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was going too fast, trying to get here. Alright, so I'm an idiot. Didn't bring tongs, a spoon, plates or anything. So we'll just eat it off the cutting board. 
Arkansas River between Canyon City and Salida. Be cold. Gas flashes are the key. Like that is in my man. Look at the golden crispy. <laughs> Number two. If you stab to the ribs, it holds it pretty good. All right. There we go. More golden crispies to come. Yeah, buddy. I did notice that like if I do take that stuff, but that, I, I think that's just because I have a lot of underlying. Get off me. Dude, the oil is under the skin. I can see it boiling. Hopefully it's not nasty and soggy. I mean, they look crispy as f There it is, boys. Good old yummy fish. Turn this off. Let that go. Okay, I'm going to start with this one. See how this fish tastes. Uh, where should I start? I'm just gonna start here. Eat it off the bone. It looks good. I got a piece of the bone. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. I need to pull the bone out though. The rib cage. You got freaking big bones. How do people eat that? Some people will eat it all. Really? That's nuts. Yeah, no thanks. Thick. There's no way people eat that, bro. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this fin as well. It's all bones. I think I swallowed a bone in my throat still. Yeah, don't do that. Just peel out the bone. All right, there is. There's still bones right here. The ribs. As you can tell, this is my first time doing this. Hole like this with a bluegill. A lot of bones. People say you can eat the bones, but uh, I don't recommend it. They're thick. Look at those bones. Other than that, though. The fish. The fish is good, though. Yeah. One, uh -huh. ten. One out of ten. Maybe a seven. Seven. Very Just nice. because it is so oily. Okay. But it's good. I'll dig in. For all you people that eat all the bones and bluegills, you're nuts. You want to die. You want to choke on a bone and die. Your life is not important to you. I'll eat the tail though. That was good. Like a little chip. With that freaking rib cage and the... Nah. It's good though. Like uh, when you peel off all the meat and the the fish fry, it's really good. Mm -hmm. I survive off of it? Absolutely. Heck yeah, dude. This would be easy. You can catch bluegill all day long. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will probably be doing nuggets next time I cook bluegill because, man, I've seen bluegills in videos where people just eat the entire thing, or the rib cage, everything. And I was expecting to do that. I bit into it and the bones were thick, super thick bones. And uh, it was hard to eat. I actually got one stuck in my throat and I was like, oh crap. I'm gonna have to go get surgery now just to get this bluegill bone out of my throat. But uh, luckily it got down, but it was good. But I will probably be doing nuggets next time with the bluegill because that is the best. I always walk around when I'm doing outros. Like, I ended up way over there. My truck is over here. But, uh, about to jump over this dam right here. And then go, hopefully go catch some sand bass. But guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.